Welcome to Wilson's Wild Ride, where we do everything RV and travel. If these things interest you, please subscribe, hit that notification so you never miss a beat. Today's Thirsty Thursday is an edible vineyard here, just outside of Long Beach. It's moved down. Dale's Vineyard and Winery um, here in Michigan. We're just outside of Holland, Michigan. It's actually a little bit south of there. And we are doing a flight of Wine different tea. types of wines and ciders at a local uh, winery. And they do it a little bit different and I think it's so cute. And instead of just filling out your paperwork and then, and then them bringing it, you, they do it on these circles. So you can always know which, you're, which one you're trying. So right now, this is the second cider. And as you can tell, I guess we're just not really into red. <laughs> but we thought no, we're not really red, people. Um, that is, um, that's really crisp. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely, you can taste the apple. It's not very sweet. Um, it's not dry either. The next one's the Pinot Grigio. That, this was always our go-to. Yeah, that's, that's, that is, that, that reminds me a lot of some of the Pinot Grigios we've had. You want to try it? Okay. Wow, that's good. I miss wine. <laughs> wine is so good. Um, all right, so the next one here is the Seven Yang Blanc. Uh, Seven Yang is usually a little bit drier than your Pinots. And normally it's a little buttery, but. But not as buttery as a Chardonnay. Right. This one here has a, a kind of a fruity after it, I don't know it's it's almost it's almost like an apple well because it's um, probably made of apples well you're probably right this so, is a winery it's from apples yeah. so. next one. the next one is I, I, I'm, this one is they call it it's a German one and she said it was really good it's called Gruner, Gruner, Gruner Veltner Velt yeah Gruner Veltner all right so <laughs> Hey man. I've never heard of it. As long as it's not sweet, I'm happy. Well, we'll see. No, it's not sweet, but... This one's got... It's got a little tartness to it. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's good. It's refreshing. It, it reminds me of a Pinot Grigio. With, with a, a that's a little bit more has like a little bit more of a sour note at the end. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's try the next one. All right. And the next one is a rosé. Yep. This is a rosé. Which and this is their this is uh, this is their award-winning rosé. Well, let's see if we, how many awards we win with it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now that is really light. Is it sweet? No, no, it's not sweet. It's um, it's, it's it's really light. Let's see the color. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's not good. Sweet. It's good. It's just you know, it's like I said, it's not it's not a sweet one, but it is refreshing. It's it's um it's not dry either. It's it's definitely not dry. Um, it's it's a good one. So, nice. So your favorite so my favorite out of all five of these is going to be the seco cider that it's thing still. is good yeah so, like i said i'm going to see if, if i don't know how they sell them. maybe six packs or maybe sell them by the bottom i don't know how they do it but that definitely is my favorite but we are enjoying this beautiful weather in this beautiful town in michigan look yes, at that it is. It's, the, the weather here the weather here is 
unbelievable. I just, the kind of weather we've been in in the past several months to leave that to come to this, it's just, as you can see, I'm wearing long sleeves and this is awesome. <laughs> All right. So, Thursday, this Thirsty Thursday, check out your local vineyards, uh, find a winery that does tastings, and experience a little bit of local. It's great. It really is. We're enjoying all that local wine. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to enjoy.